signal to hello. Artemis' friend wishes to meet other travelers, but they have. Seems Artemis' friend has forgotten Nada. Curious. It is good to help this entity traveler friend, but Nada advises caution. Artemis' entity was is a traveler entity. One like you, Nada had made them safe. They were known to Nada. This entity may be Artemis' entity, but a different iteration. Another way for Artemis' entity to be. Or fraud, the universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules and they would punish us. So first of all, from the very cousin of the clock, a strange gas suing forth. It is unclear if our translator is working. The life form shakes their head, disappointed in me. I try to resist my other gas, but the order permeates my access to vents. Even my life support system, I am filled with an overwhelming desire to purchase things. I offer you instead of the gag, repeating my request for entry. The gag smiles, the gas receding. They appear to have found the entire exchange amusing. In exchange for this amusement, they offer to go the star chart for free. Strange behavior for first greeting friend. Trade for dream, please to establish new customer friend. Please pass me the data for examination. <coughs> Ask the life form to decode the star chat and provide a route to Artemis's location. Your data appears to be fabricated friend or possibly corrupted. No such location exists. The gag is as a There you are. I have found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to make my, mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. They then even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made the chart blinked out. And how is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to. It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with the, each passing moment. The sound beneath their words, the sound as if glass could scream. They're coming for me. I can see them, smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal, a traveler, a getaway, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to an another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was uh, still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I, I was so wrong. I, I can see the faces. I, there are seeds of glass within there. They got my data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover the worlds. I wanted to find tr other travelers that I didn't. 16, warn your face it. Please, not yet. I'm not. The signal cuts off as it crackles into oblivion. I hear a name through the static Apollo. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Versus available, the tower has been. I know this already. Tune to Apollo Plane. Yeah, darling. Oh, Jesus. The transmission assigns the stranger just stares at me. Identify yourself or I am the scar. And what does that mean to be a traveller? 
What nonsense, you're worse than Artemis and their dreams, I'm not interested in dreamers. Oh, did, but did Artemis send you? Things suddenly make sense. Look, we are alone, we're not like the rest of life here. Yes, it's strange, no, the answer isn't. In wishful delusions, it is, it just is what it is. You can tell Artemis that I haven't changed my mind about meeting. I'll do it if I'm paid to do it, even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble, that they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the network. The last word was Apollo's name. Apollo's demeanor changes. Send me your data logs, let me see this for myself. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious plants. planets. But this data is it's distorted, inverted. There's a lot to gain if we forget how the sentinels appear so quirky. And this, the portals, perhaps they're the key. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of oper operations. I'll send you to a contact of mine. They'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. As hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly, as if sighing, saddened, or perhaps it was nothing, a ghost in the machine. Hoo hoo. Locate Apollo's contact. Where is his contact? I have no idea. Right, that's where I'll have to leave this video. In the next one, we will talk to Mr. Contact person over here and, I don't know, expand our base or something. And hopefully fi then find Artemis. But if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Ow!